What's up crazies? My name's Jesse and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Perfect. Hey guys, so as you noticed, I'm not alone today because I have my wonderful sister. Cheers. And we're holding coffee. She's drinking tea tea because she's a tea person. She's so terrific. <laughs> welcome to another episode of Graceful's Coffee Corner. Coffee corner. Coffee corner, where I drink coffee and talk. And I drink tea and talk, because that's more awesome. Jenny. Hi. 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 Okay. Why are we here today? What are we talking about? We came up with this idea to talk about the topic of loving yourself, because the phrase to love yourself is thrown around a whole lot, but people mostly don't really know what it means to love yourself and we've both had like revelations about this and we thought it would help others to to share that with the world and we hope that we can really yes encourage you on your journey of really learning to love yourself yeah what's the first thing that we realized <laughs> <laughs> so the first um, topic that we want to cover is how you talk about yourself to others actually when you when you're in conversation and things you say about yourself so I think you had a whole lot that you wanted to say <laughs> because I know that that's something that's really on your heart me personally I've noticed that when I talk with people and then they start saying negative things about themselves I get really angry <laughs> because I'm thinking like, don't say that. When I talk with someone, for example, who has a wonderful voice, like they can sing really well, but then like they say, actually, I'm, I'm not that good or like others are better than me. Don't go there. Just be like, yeah, I can sing. I love complimenting people. Like it's one of my biggest passions to when I see anyone and they look beautiful, I just want to tell them, hey, you look really beautiful today. And most of the time they're like, Thank you. They don't know how to deal with it because I think it comes from from like a place where where you you think so negatively about yourself all the time, constantly, that when someone tells you no, actually you are beautiful and you are valuable, you don't know what to do with that. Yeah, I think a big part of really loving yourself is just quit the false modesty. If you're good at something, recognize that you're good at it and you're allowed to do that. Yeah. It's not proud. I'm not saying put yourself above others and say, oh yeah, I'm good and you're not. It's more about just really recognizing who you are and recognizing I'm good at this and I'm allowed to say that I'm good at it. Honestly, it makes it a whole lot more comfortable for other people around you as well. Actually, you're, you're not doing anybody a favor, least of all yourself. You're more slipping into false modesty when when you can't recognize your own talents. True. You're awesome and just own it. Own it. Own, own it. your awesomeness. Own your awesomeness. <laughs> like we do every day. <laughs> so the second topic that we want to talk about is not the way you talk about yourself, but the way you talk to yourself. Because actually, that's where it all starts is how do you talk to yourself and don't don't pretend like you don't talk to yourself because <laughs> like, i know we all do yeah, we all do <laughs> right <laughs> i'm not right? the only we one <laughs> it really starts with those things when you can't find something you're looking for something because you put it somewhere you don't know where and then you're like oh i'm so stupid oh i suck those things that you say to yourself those already start the process of of self-hatred, of, of self-consciousness. It all starts with, am I able to love myself? When you have this lens on of like, I'm dumb anyway, and then something embarrassing happens to you and other people see it and they laugh, then that's just a confirmation of, oh yeah, I'm really dumb. When you keep on talking bad to yourself, you're gonna start like, is it just confirms your own yes. beliefs about yourself exactly and then somebody else maybe says something negative exactly. that confirms your own beliefs about yourself so yep. i would say just train it really yeah. train it mm -hmm. be aware of what you what you say about yourself and what you say to yourself if you want to have like a a practical way of how do i do this what i've advised friends of mine to do and they've done it and they said well it really helped was making little post-it notes and putting them around like your flat or your room. You're enough, you're beautiful or you're smart, you can do this. Just put them in places where you walk by often. And so even though you maybe not constantly think about it, 
purposely, unconsciously seeing this all the time will also influence you in just getting to a point where you can honestly think positively about yourself and thinking positively about yourself is the first step to actually starting to love yourself and appreciate yourself and realizing that who you are is enough. Hmm. Third. So number three, which is actually related to this, is how you treat yourself. Hmm. Do the things that you know are good for you. And I think it's also just little things when you know, for example, like exercising is good for you. You know what? Exercise. I, th I really think that's a part of loving yourself is treating your body, treating your soul well. When you're watching a horror movie, for example, and you, you realize, you know what, this is really damaging to me right now. Turn it off. And sometimes it really takes consequence yep. and, and discipline to do those kind of things. But when you notice something is bad for me, just stop doing it. When you notice something is really good for me, start doing it. It's uh, basically turning your bad habits into good ones. When people always say, oh, I need to get rid of this habit, it's kind of dangerous because then you don't have to... You get rid of bad things by just replacing them with things that are actually good. Hmm. So don't focus on like, oh, I have to stop doing this. Focus on, oh, I can start doing this and that. And then the bad habits and thoughts and whatever will just, they will just disappear on their own. Do the good things and the, the rest will follow. <laughs> You. Deep sea baby. I, what's a deep sea baby? Is it a mermaid? Is that even the lyrics? <laughs> what is number four? Number four. Uh, uh, <clears throat> number four. Don't go out of off screen. Number four. Mm -hmm. You're my <laughs> Jenny pumped <laughs> exit <stop. laughs> Number four is how you let others treat you. This is something that I've noticed, especially in romantic relationships maybe even in their normal work life they'll stand up for themselves suddenly they're in a romantic relationship and they let the other person walk all over them i've noticed that has a whole lot to do with how much value you give yeah. yourself yeah. when you don't think you're valuable yeah. you think they're allowed to treat you that way loving yourself means recognizing i'm valuable they're not allowed to treat me that way they're yeah. not allowed to just be totally aloof and mm -hmm. never define the relationship mm -hmm. and whenever I I like call them I feel clingy and stuff like that if you're in a romantic relationship and the other person's just being a douche then they're just being a douche and you deserve better also setting up your boundaries is not uh, you having too high of standards you are entitled and you're allowed to have boundaries and you're allowed to make sure that those boundaries are being respected hmm. and that those boundaries are not there to be broken they're there to be respected so that's also something that i've realized so many especially women make themselves smaller than they actually are it happens a lot it happens so much don't be afraid to end relationships that just go nowhere where you're not treated according to your worth, you're not going to be alone forever. And actually you're better off in a single life yeah. <laughs> than in a relationship where you're not treated well. Mm -hmm. It's so much better when you're just already aware of your own value. You don't even get into a relationship that's just bad for you. Know your worth. As a girl now, from girl to girl, you are worth being treated like you're a princess. <laughs> it sounds so cliche, but you're worth being carried on hands. And you're allowed to know where the relationship is going. You're allowed to ask, what are we actually doing? You're allowed to ask those questions. That's not clingy. It's really just asking, are you willing to treat me according to what I'm worth or not? And you're also asking, are you willing to commit? to me. Number five. Number five. Number five. The most important one for me, actually, I think is to have grace with yourself and to forgive yourself. Yes. Because everything that we said before, you might completely screw that up. You might just stay in a relationship that's bad for you. You mm. might have called yourself stupid, done something that harmed yourself and harmed everybody around you. And now what? Are you going to hate yourself forever now? Are you going to start treating yourself even worse? Nope. No. Grace. Grace. Have grace, grace with yourself. Forgive yourself. Just say the words. For me, like, Jenny, I forgive you. I actually say, th say those, <laughs> those words to myself. Yeah. It really helps create balance for me and giving me the ability to actually fail less afterwards and not more. Yeah. Nothing to add to that. She's perfect. So. <laughs> Conclusion. Be aware of your thoughts about yourself to yourself and how you 
articulate your thoughts about yourself to others, be aware of the way you treat yourself and how others treat you, and in the end just always have grace. Have grace. You're allowed to make mistakes. Yes. You are not. Loved. You are loved despite your mistakes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of me or of my wonderful, perfect, amazing sister, then feel free to check out all our social media. They're linked down below. Thank you for joining me, Jenny. Isn't she cute? Not just because her shirt says it. She I'm cute. She wore it for me because it's my favorite sweater on her. Yeah. Be blessed. See you next week. Bye! Drink tea! Hey, this was a coincidence though. I didn't know she had this cup already and I made myself a cup of coffee and then like... Oh my god! This is what you call a sisterly telepathy. <laughs> English. And that's not what you call it. <laughs>